Hi, my name is Frank, and you're watching video 5 of 6 on NMRs, and this one's going to be about complex splitting. So, um, this is going to be a little bit more complicated than uh, simple splitting, which is the n plus 1 rule that I went over in my last video. So, um, when you have complex splitting in a molecule like this, uh, on the test, the first thing you want to do is draw all the hydrogens, okay, including the chicken foot hydrogen. If you don't know what that is, just hold on a second. So, they're, they're, your professor are probably going to give you hydrogens written like these, so you want to just erase it, or just redraw it, put the hydrogens out, so you can see the bonds, just so you don't make any mistakes. Okay, voila, here are all the hydrogens, but are you done? Nope, because I actually uh, specifically left out the chicken foot hydrogen, which is this one right here. I like to call it that because this hydrogen is what, um, if I didn't have it here, this, uh, and there wouldn't be a chicken foot because it would just be three bonds and a chicken foot is just this. So I have one, two, three, I'm missing this guy right here. There we go. This is the hydrogen that everybody always misses on the test, so make sure you don't forget about this one. Okay, so next we want to do uh, equivalent grouping. So let's group our hydrogens. Let's see. So pause your video, try and do this on your own, and then we'll come back here. Okay, so you should have six equivalent hydrogens here. Hydrogens here. Ugh. Okay, so you should have six equivalent hydrogens here. These six should all be labeled HA. And let's move over here now. You would have HB, 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 right? Equivalent. Uh, here you would have HC, because this guy is different from all their environments. And then. This would be HD, HD, E, E, because they're all their environments are still different. But here, um, like in my previous video, uh, the bonds are always spinning. So all nine of these hydrogens would be equivalent. So F, 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 F. Okay. So, um, Let's do complex spinning. Let's figure out um, what the signals would look like on an NMR. So let's just start over here, just because these are a little bit more simpler. So you have nine equivalent hydrogens. So that's not going to affect the splitting pattern at all, right? Because the splitting pattern only tells you what uh, the, their neighbors are. And they have no neighbors that are non-equivalent to them within three bonds distance, because the closest non-equivalent hydrogen to these nine guys are one bond, two bond, three bond, four bonds. Five bonds, six bonds, okay, so it has no effect. So uh, this one would just be a singlet, because if you do the n plus one rule, okay, right, one plus one is just two. Uh, okay, one plus one, no. Zero plus one is just one, which is equal to a singlet. So these guys would just be a massive singlet. Okay. So next, let's do these hydrogens here. They have, let's see, there's two hydrogens and let's see their neighbors. One bond, two bond, three bond. One bond, two bond, three bonds. So here you go. One bond, two bond, three bonds, four bonds. Way too far. So it's just these hydrogens, these two hydrogens here, HE, HE, are just being split by HD and HD. Okay, so N plus one rule here. It's still, sim it's still simple splitting. So two plus one is equal to three. So that's going to be a triplet. Probably look something like this. So this is going to be triplets. Okay, HD. Now it's going to get a little complicated. HD is being split by HE because it's one bond, two bond, three bonds, one bond, two bond, three bonds, and then there's also HC here that's splitting this guy, these two guys, one bond, two bond, three bonds. Uh, okay, and the rest are too far away. So now here's where complex splitting comes in. Uh, you do your lower one first, so. Uh, let's do this one. So this is the lower one because it's, it's being split by this hydrogen. Uh, and then in simple splitting, it would be a, uh, a doublet because it's n plus 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2, so it would be a doublet. But now you're also being split by these on equivalent hydrogens here. So here would be two, um, 2 plus 1, so that's a triplet. So it would be a doublet of triplets. Okay? That's these guys. And let's do HC. HC is kind of sandwiched by one, two, three, four hydrogens within three bond distance. 
Okay, that's one bond, two bond, three bonds. 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 Because these guys are all too far away. And then um, it's also being split by the guys from before. One bond, two bond, three bond. So let's do what we did before. Let's do the lower number of hydrogens first. So these two. Uh, so it's two hydrogens plus one. So two plus one is equal to a triplet. And then you have these four hydrogens here. One, two, three, four. So it's four plus one is equal to a quintuplet. Or qu quintet. Okay, so now you'll have um, a triplet of quintets for HC because you have one, two, plus one, giving you the triplets. And then one, two, three, four, plus one, giving you the quintets. Okay, uh, let's do HB next. Um, let's see. For HB, they are all being split by let's see, one bond, two bond, three bond, one bond, two bond, three bond. So HB is being split by one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, th and then you have a single hydrogen here. So it's uh, one bond, two bond, three bonds. So H, both HBs, they're being split by one hydrogen here and three hydrogens over here. So this hydrogen is the is going to give us the lower one first. So uh, I'll do it over here. One hydrogen plus one, because n plus one rule is equal to two, so it's going to be a doublet. And then uh, you have the three hydrogens over here, so three plus one is equal to four, a quartet. And you'll get a doublet of quartets. So a, both HPs will be doublets of quartets, doublets of quartets. So then you would probably get something like this. Doublets of quartets will look, it's hard to see on the NMR, but it should be something like this. So you don't have to worry about it too much, but yeah, see how this component kind of looks like a doublet, and these components look like a quartet? Okay, so uh, in the last, the last group, hydrogen A, HAs. So HAs are all the way at the end, so they're, they're a little bit easier, so it's just, Let's see, but they've been where are they being split by? They're being by sl split by just HB. So one bond, two bond, three bonds. So that's two hydrogens, two hydrogens. So each group of HAs are just being split by two hydrogens. So it's going to be, um, let's do it over here. Uh, two plus one is equal to three. So that's going to be a triplet. So then this is. All the HAs will be just simple splitting and triplet. Okay? So in review, a triplet for all the HAs, triplet of quintets for HCs, doublet of quartets for HBs, doublet of triplets for HD, triplet uh, such as simple splitting for HE, and then uh, let's see for HF they're they don't have any neighboring hydrogens, so it's just going to be a simple splitting. So it's just going to be a singlet. Okay? Hope that helps.